It's hard to imagine a school where the students actually like the food served, but at the Unqua School in Fairfield, they even have a competition for their own Iron Chef. Joining me now is Sharon Lauer, the head of school, and we have Jessica Anzalone next to her and Aaron Riley next to Jessica, both seventh grade students and Iron Chef's winners from last year. Congratulations. I'm so happy that all three of you are here with us today. Uh, Sharon, you have a unique program at, at the Unqua School. Fairly, yes, we do. Um, we've done family-style dining since 1917, but six years ago we answered the call from UNESCO to do a, a sustainable program in our school, and we decided that we would start in the dining room because it's the heart of our world. Oh, and, yeah. of course, this is where you, you teach the kids how to eat healthy and how to prepare it very well, etc. Absolutely. We were really lucky enough um, to find um, John Tureen, who had been the, the executive chef at Yale when they started their sustainable dining program. And uh, so he really helped us to start very small and work into a program where we serve mostly organic foods and we are farm to fork, regional, seasonal. And it's it's wonderful. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Right, girls, are you guys ready to cook? We're actually going to show everybody how to make what? Rutabaga fries? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Which one of you would like to explain what a rutabaga is? A uh, rutabaga is a root vegetable, and yeah. it comes from <laughs> the ground, and it's healthier, and it's good. Yes, it is. And this is a recipe that the two of you came up with, Erin? Yes. Yes? Very good. And so, shall we get started? What, what are the ingredients for this one? Um, what do you have in front of you? What do we need? We have a lot of herbs like rosemary, uh, oregano, and thyme, I think. Time, okay. And what else? We have olive oil. And olive what else oil, do we have there? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah. And that's it, right? Mm -hmm. So w w what we need to do first is peel the rutabaga. Is that right, Jessica? You want to tell us to get get us started here? Sure. Um, yeah, first you would cut it. And no, hold it up. Yeah, so you, which you did ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you'd peel it and then cut it. Which, which isn't easy with the rutabaga. Yeah. <laughs> it is very difficult. So you cut it, and now what do you have to do? Then you get sort of like a circle, and then you just start cutting. All right. You, you want to go ahead and start cutting, showing us how, to, how we need to do it? Now, Erin, this is a recipe that the two of you guys created? Yes. yes. Why, the, why rutabaga versus something else that you could have chosen? It's healthier. And it's uh, different than a normal fry. Do you like it? Yeah, it came out really good in the end. What does it taste like for those of us who have never had a rutabaga fry? <laughs> As opposed to a potato. Yes. Is it similar to that or a sweet potato fry? What, what would you describe that? It's not sweet, but it's not like a regular potato. And this is a competition, Jessica. You had to beat out how many people for this this honor? Uh, Five, yeah, six. there were six other, other teams. There were, there were teams of six, and you guys won the competition. Did you? How did? Who uh, chose you as the winner? Was it the entire school? How did that work? Our uh, chef, uh, Chef Peter. The chef came in and, and actually was chose a, the recipe. The winning was recipe. Teacher, and were there other judges? Judge. Yeah. And there was a student judge. A yeah. student judge. All right. So after you won, what did you guys do? What did you do with the recipe? Did you did you serve it to mm. everybody so that everybody could taste it? Yeah. Yes? And what did everybody think about that? I think everybody liked it. Did you guys have fun, Jessica, doing this? Yeah. Yeah? Now, is this something you would like to do as you grow older? Do you like cooking? Do you help yes. out in the kitchen at home? Yes. Okay, what's your favorite thing that you need that you like to do at home, Jessica? Uh, cook with my mom. Cook with your mom. Do you bake? Is that what you like doing more? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we've cut this all up, and now what do we need to do? Because we have about a minute left. Um, we're going to add olive oil. Okay. And rosemary. Very good. You want to add the, some on the olive oil? You've got some already yeah. cut up there. You want to try that so. since you're in a hurry. And these herbs all come from the garden at our school. Very so good. So they harvested these. Um, yeah, that's great. That's great. And then you, you put, put some olive basil? oil. Okay. Yeah. And the salt and pepper. There you here, go. Here, I'll pass that to you. I'll, hold, I'll be there your you assistant. Go. There you go. Salt and pepper. This is a very simple recipe. Anything else we need to put? Is that uh, it? Pepper. pepper. Okay, and then we put it in a... Who's going to toss? Sheet. Oh, we got to toss. Okay. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's good. And then we throw it in there. And then you put it in the oven for how long? About... 10 20. minutes? 
20 minutes? Oh, 10. Yeah. Okay, and let's, we have the finished product here, so does somebody want to we take do. that from? We do, yeah, sure. So we can, I'll try, we'll try this. And, of course, we want to thank Barnum Come Financial Group for bringing us this cooking demonstration today. Yes. We'll have that recipe for you as well on our website. And here comes the uh, the finished product. And look at this. Yeah. This is. I want to try the, the rutabaga because it's the rutabaga great. fry is something I've never had before. Let me try that really quickly. It's warm. Mm, very delicious. And we have the other recipe as well. This is the turkey cutlet. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Us. You're really welcome.